We're on the pound Aussie five range. This is a potential head and shoulders with a double top on the five minute. Um, going to be a little bit, I don't like to use the word unusual, but in one sense here, I've been quite aggressive with the entry. Um, I've actually only used half a position for this trade. I'm just, the best thing for me to do is to talk through this and I'll try and make it as clear as possible. One thing I don't like to do is make the trades too complicated. Um, it either is or isn't. That's the way that it should be. But I'm using quite a bit of discretion here for um, a move lower. So here on the dailies, um, you can see that we've violated our most recent level of structure here and we're working our way down. Let's go and look at the 240. Here on the 240, we have gone oversold, but we are continually making new lows. I would expect price to come all the way down to retest these lows here. Um, and also, yeah, that one 8,000 level, which we've just touched now. Let's go to the 60. Uh, just working our way down on the 60. Let's go to the 15. Okay. This is where it could get a little complicated. Let's try and make this very, very simple. New structure low outside return then right so I'm going to put a structure level on here right at the close uh, right at these lows you can see price came down to that level held we saw a little bounce and then we had this wick I'm going to zoom in so you can see this we had this wick here now Technically, for me, price then did we did not get a break below close below. Here we had another wick, did not get a break below close below, and it's been exactly the same. In fact, the only place now we've got a break below close below is this level. So, this structure level just here for me becomes null and void right now because technically it's not a new structure low because of this wick. It is only this that's the new structure low. So the way that this reads for the trend for me is like this, bypassing this structure level. So we have one, two, three. We've got, we know we've got that lick, uh, <laughs> wick. Uh, and um, we, we have that structure level there. What else was there? I'm also going to drop down to the five. And this is the double top. So the structure level that we also have is two tests, three, one there. And then an area here as well. And we do have the RSI confirmation. So we went overbought at 87. And we actually, we've got divergence, but we actually went overbought again. So we saw a pullback into this minor level of structure, um, but it's produced a double top. Now that isn't all though. If we drop to the five range, one thing I really like to see is this. So we've got a quite a directional move. Just before we hit that structure level, we see a pullback. We see another move and then we put in a double top. Now this for me is a classic sign here that we're going to put in a head and shoulders, which is also a reversal pattern, just like a double top. But it gives more confirmation that we're potentially going to see a reversal here. So I think that we're going to see price come down, put in initial structure low pull back for a 2618 which will complete the head and shoulders and then we're going to see a continuation on down uh, to retest these lows down here now if I just bring back on the orders we have that psychological number there the 18000 I'm actually going to be five pips above that so um, this means in terms of risk then we're looking at 21 pips and the reward here is 44 and as you can see we are getting that rejection now um, so 
nothing to do now but wait and see if we can get down for our targets if we do put that 2618 uh, in and get a new low I'll be able then to reduce down the uh, the risk on this trade we're back for an update uh, I managed to get in now with a full position we pulled back for the right shoulder uh, used a 2618 as an entry and we are now looking like this so not a great deal has changed simply now just waiting to see if we do get that follow through okay we're back finally seeing some movement in the right direction now we're actually violating these lows here on the five range uh, i can't remember if i said in the last video that i uh, put my full position on here now instead of just the half i'm not too sure if i th thought i was going to do it or whether or not i said it in the video um but i'm in this now for a full position as we pull back for 2618 getting the confirmation now that we're going to go lower conservative targets playing for five pips above that psychological number this is worth 44 pips if we can get it we're back for the final update on this trade and as you can see our double top pulled back for the 2618 we got the move lower we came down to this level we came down to 1.8007 my target was 1.8005 so i was not filled but um, i did implement risk management before i went to bed so uh, I took a seven pip loss on this trade. Um, you can clearly see the head and shoulders that came off. You know, I predicted this, uh, predicted this perfectly, almost just, just never quite got down to those potential targets. Uh, what, what a real shame! <laughs> what a real shame. So out of that for minus seven.